Hi, and welcome to our first lesson on sequence and series. This is on arithmetic sequences. So first thing we need to know is what a sequence is. A sequence is just an ordered list of numbers. So here they are in order 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Um, notice we got the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, notice our last guy, 2, 44, negative 12, 0, negative 0 0.13. Um, some of you might be thinking, well, how is that as a sequence? There's no pattern. Well, a sequence doesn't need to have a pattern. It's just a list of numbers in order. So 2 is the first number, 44 is the second number, negative 12 is the third number. That qualifies it as a sequence. Obviously, random sequences like that aren't very interesting. Um, the first type of pattern sequence we're going to look at is an arithmetic sequence. We get that by adding the same amount every time. So for example, in A here, we go 1, 3, 5, 7. So and actually, I'm going to put the answers. So it's, notice um, we're going to be asked for A and D farther down on the page. So for our first one here, obviously, our first term is going to be 1. And then D is what we're adding by every time, the common difference, going up by 2 every time. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. The next one, A is going to equal 4. And then what do we have to add to 4 to get negative 1? Well, that's going to be negative 3. Notice that if you can't figure out what d is, you just need to take any number in the sequence and subtract the number before it. So for the example of b, I could go 1 is our second term minus our first term. 1 minus 4 gives us d is negative 3. And that'll work with any of them, right? I could go negative 14 minus negative 11 would also give me negative 3. It's going to work every time if it's an arithmetic sequence. Okay, and our last one, our first term A is going to be 1, and we're adding 0 0.3 every time. Okay, 2 says uh, make up your own arithmetic sequences with at least 6 terms. So let's say we start with 7 and add 2 every time. So we go 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and let's do one with a negative difference. So maybe go 100, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, oops, 95, 94. That's got at least six. Okay. And number three, make up a sequence that's not arithmetic for at least six with at least six terms. So that's easier than anything. Go 3, 7, negative 2, 14, 2003, 175, 12. Obviously, those aren't ha going up by the same amount every time or changing by the same amount every time, adding or subtracting. So, not arithmetic. Okay, 4. Give the first six terms of an arithmetic sequence where A is 13 and D is 5. So, our first one's going to be 13. Add 5 will give us 18, 23, 28, 33, 38. Piece of cake. Okay, and now basically doing the same thing again. A is th 3. So our first term is going to be 3. Next one will have 6. Oops, no. So we're going to add 6. So our second one will be 9, 15, 21. 27, 33. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got some labeling here. So the first term A can also be labeled as the first term, basically T1. It says the first term, second term, T2. Notice the nth term is called Tn. So for example, if n is 6, then the sixth term would be T6. Okay, so from the sequence we just did, that means that 3 is going to be T1, 9 is going to be T2, T3, T4, T5, and T6. So they want to want T2, that would be 9. T5, that would be 27. And T6 is going to be 33. Okay, now they want T20. Okay, well, if we wanted to, we could obviously write out 20 terms. But let's just think about this for a second. 
So to get from T1 to T2, I have to add 6. 2 to 3, I'd add 6. 3 to 4, I'd add 6. So for example, T4, I'd have my initial 3, and I'd add 6 3 times. So 1 less than 4 is how many 6s I'd add. So for T20, I'd have to have 3, and then I'd have to add 19 6s, because 1 less than T20. So that means that T20 is going to equal 117. Okay, and we can do the same thing with T113. It's going to be that first one plus 112 sixes. We'll go 675. Okay, so generally for this, if I want to find Tn, I'm going to have to have 3, and then I'm going to have to have 6 times n minus 1. So if it's, in this case, it was 113, so we had to multiply by 112. So whatever n is, we need to multiply, by, multiply 6 by 1 less than that and add it on to the initial term. Okay, and we can test our formula because we know T6 is 33 just from counting it out. So we'll go T6 is going to equal 3 plus 6 times 6 minus 1. And indeed, we do get 33. That does work. Okay, 10 here. We're going to do a general formula for this guy. So Tn is going to be our first term. And then we're going to add on. What are we going by here? So we'll have negative 3, and we're going to have to multiply that by 1 less than n. So let's try that with t6. We'll have negative 4 plus negative 3 times 6 minus 1. And that does give us negative 21. OK, so notice every time here, we're putting the first term here, and we're putting the common difference there in our formula. So in general, for any arithmetic sequence, Tn is going to equal our first term plus d, our common difference, times 1 less than the term number. And that will work for every single arithmetic sequence. OK, so let's uh, find a and d here. Well, a is our first term. That's going to be 20. And d looks like we're subtracting 9 every time, which means that Tn is going to be 20 minus 9 times n minus 1. Notice I've also, I also could have gone plus negative 9. Works out to be the same thing. OK, and we want to check T9. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So T9 should be negative 52. And when we figure it out, we find out that we are correct. That is negative 52. Question 13. Um, there's an easy way to do this using your brain, and a hard way to do this using a bunch of algebra. Uh, we'll show you the easy way first. For some reason, some people prefer the uh, algebra way. So first way is to use um, a diagram like this. Just map out your T1 through T8. So we know T3 is 4, and we need we know T8 is 34. And we know that to get from T3 to T4, we'd have to add a D. That's not a very good D. Add a D. Add a D. Add a D. And add a D. So we can figure out that if we have 4 plus 5 Ds, we'd get 34. Subtract 4 from both sides, 5d equals 30, d equals 6. And now they want us to figure out t1. 
So if I want to move backwards from T1 to T3, I can just subtract a D, or in this case, 6. Moving that way, I can subtract a D, which is 6. Yeah, let's actually just go minus 6 on the diagram there. So if I minus 6 and minus 6, I get negative 2, negative 8. So the answer is T1 equals negative 8. Um, I prefer this for a few reasons. One is that it's easier. The other one, that it shows a lot of understanding on how these things actually work. Okay, so here's part B done algebraically. So we're going to use our formula, Tn equals A plus D to the N minus 1. And I'm going to fire in my first bit of information here, so that will give me 4 equals a plus d to the 3 minus 1. That was our first t3 equals 4. And then I've also got 34 equals a plus d 8 minus 1. So that's going to give me 4 equals a plus 2d. And that's going to give me 34 equals a plus 7d. I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. That way we can just add them for elimination instead of subtract. I find if you do elimination by addition like this, you end up with a lot more, or a lot less mistakes with uh, positives and negatives. So we got 34 and negative 4 is 30 equals 5d over 5, so we have d equals 6, which we already knew up top. And then from that, I can fire it into one of my equations. So I can throw it into, say, 34 equals a plus 7 times 6. 34 equals a plus 42, minus 42 both from both sides. And we get the same answer, a equals negative 8. Um, either one of those you use, um, you get full marks, as long as you show your work properly. Um, I prefer the first one. Okay, and lastly here, um, they've given us T1 is 15 and D is 7 for an arithmetic sequence, and they want to know if the following numbers are elements of that sequence. Well, for the first one, it should be pretty easy to see. We'll have 15, 22, 29, 36. So 30 is going to be in between 29 and 36, so it's not going to be part of the sequence. So no, that number is not part of the sequence. Um, 1646, if we had a whole bunch of time to waste and a whole bunch of paper, we could do the same way. Um, a better way to do it is knowing that Tn is going to equal a plus d times n minus 1. So if it is a term, then with a equals 15 and d equals 7, we should be able to figure out which term it would be. So first thing we want to do is subtract 15 from both sides. So we get 16, 31 equals 7 times n minus 1. Divide both sides by 7. And we get 233 equals n minus 1. So we get n equals 234. So we know that the 234th term is going to be 1646. So yes. It is part of the sequence. It is the 234th term in the sequence. Okay, and let's have a look at the last guy here. Do the same thing. 3860 equals 15. Same thing again. Subtract 15 from both sides.
divide both sides by 7 and we get 549.285 blah 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 equals n minus 1 well this decimal here tells us that it's going to end up between two of the terms so it won't be like if it was 549 it would be good if it was 550 it would be good 549 point something tells us it's not one of the terms it's going to fall between two of the terms so no that guy is not part of the sequence